The rap like Michelin. Ain't ready to die cause I ain't really been living yet. What you know about living limited? Daddy had that hair raw. Mama started dipping in. She got clean, I started pitching it. The same life she ain't want for me, I started living it. Shit hard when she came for visits. See my daughters out for weeks and I still remember. Just for my niggas, hate sleep and love the grind. Solid didn't fold when it was crunch time. Battlefield, we was on that front line. Wrong moving, you can lose it all at one time. You know what? People be asking me a lot. They be having me confused. A lot of people always ask me, why is O Block into it with 63rd? Why they don't like each other? Where the disrespect come from? And shit, I didn't really think I had to answer that question because the proof is in the pudding. If you watch the videos, listen to the interviews, you can tell that those guys inherited a lot of hate. You get what I'm saying? They didn't inherit a lot of beats. I don't think this should go to Chief Keith and like FBG Duff. That's what a lot of people might think because that's who they see dissing each other and shit like that. Remember, one of Chief Key first songs to ever blow up, he said, fuck a Tuka gang in the song. You get what I'm saying? So you could tell that it was war going on between them two, I guess, blocks or if you want to call it areas. They had beef going on way, way before Chief Keith made it in the music business. You see all the pictures, the R.I.P. pictures that these guys be putting up, I guess, from both sides taking each other out. I don't know, allegedly. We didn't seem to expose me videos with Memo and Von them dissing 63rd and shit like that. Lil Dirk them throwing shots at them. We didn't also seen 63rd them throwing shots at Old Block them. They both be dissing each other dead homies and shit like that. Look, the hate so strong. I seen the video of King Von and Lil Reach teaching a little boy to say F Tuka. And I just thought that was crazy as hell. But one of the first things came to my head is just imagine the type of hatred they must have had for that guy to be teaching the kids that kind of shit. I think it's a very sad situation. You got to remember GDs and BDs is pretty much like the same thing, even though you could say it ain't the same thing, but they represent the same thing. One love. When they in jail, they all won. And you got to remember back in the days, it wasn't really no BD, GD war. Now, a lot of y'all might say it was. It might have been a dispute between two people that led to killings, that led to murders between those sets. But the BDK, GDK movement, which if you a BD and they don't give a fuck where you from, they're going to hurt you. If you a GD, they don't give a fuck where, they, where you from, they're going to hurt you. That was never going on in the streets. That's the new shit that I think I developed by this rap music when JoJo passed. You know, a lot of fans in the music shit jumped in this. You got to understand that it's a lot of people who was killed in that 64th, 63rd allegedly uh, beef that ain't even rappers, that ain't even famous. Just imagine all the famous people we know who was killed over there. Imagine the people who was just regular people living everyday lives who was killed um, that's about as much as I can tell you. A lot of people going to try to tell you and single point something, but I just think this was inherited. The hate was inherited when you populated in these neighborhoods where it's impoverished and the only person you can come up off of is a motherfucker that looked like you.